Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and y'all, this is your reminder of what a good president actually looks like. Compare uh, these clips from Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. And you tell me which one looks more presidential for Memorial Day. Private Pickett, you honor us all with your presence. Uh, I am going to go ahead and ask folks, why don't, you, why don't we get a couple of uh, Marines, they're going to look good next to us, just because I, uh, I want to, I've got a change of suits, but I don't know about uh, uh, our, prime, uh, our Prime Minister. Uh, there we go. That's good. I'm, you guys, I'm sorry about it. Uh, but but let, 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 let me... Uh, uh, That's what being a good president is supposed to look like. Giving the proper honor and respect to our fallen soldiers. I'm gonna get a little personal here. One of my biggest regrets of my young life is not joining the military. When I got out of college, I was too overweight. I was mentally just broken. I would not have made a good soldier at that time. And I deeply regret that I have not served in some way. And when I see our presidents not properly honoring our soldiers, the Barack Obama uh, being served by these Marines uh, with the umbrella incident, granted, that's part of their jobs, but how much does it cost to just turn around and say, thank you, gentlemen? Basic manners cost you nothing. Being polite to people who are serving you being polite to your doctor, to your waitress, to your stewardess. These are people who will go out of their way to serve you and make your life better. Or at least make your experience a little bit better. Your cast members down at Disney World, uh, the storekeepers at your local store. These people deserve basic decency and for you to say just a simple thank you. Barack Obama couldn't do it. Uh, Joe Biden was, sit th was uh, there looking at his watch, just waiting for the moment to be over so he can drop the facade of making it look like he actually cares about fallen soldiers. Hey, y'all. I just wanted to give a shout out to my friends over at Colonial Metals Group. 
Their experts understand exactly what they're doing with gold, silver, and other precious metals, unlike our current leadership, which is giving us rampant inflation, terrible Federal Reserve policies, a president that doesn't know what planet he's on, and of course, an out of control Congress that won't stop spending. We have to figure out ways to keep our wealth safe. And the best way to do that is to go over to my friends at Colonial Metals Group, because their experts can help you diversify your portfolio, and they've got an amazing offer for first-time accounts. Free gold, silver IRA accounts, insured storage for five years, up to $7,500 in silver delivered directly to your home, and a safe to keep all that stuff in. So go over regardless and see what they can do for you and protect your wealth and your future today. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Donald Trump at least held his salute. Donald Trump at least walked up to the veteran and gave him a big old hug. Donald Trump at least picked up the hat of this Marine in these in this incredibly windy conditions and the hat, it blew over again, but at least he tried. There are a lot of detractors to Donald Trump, even on the right, and I understand part of that. But I want you to ask yourselves, is it better to watch a man go through the motions and make it look like he cares about his country? Or would you rather support a man who deliberately and almost belligerently seems like he just doesn't care? That he's above all these standards. Barack Obama acted like he was above these basic standards, these, this basic decency. Joe Biden definitely acts like that. I mean, this, this video proves it. Just look at the way that he's just flippantly checking his watch, waiting, looking like, oh God, how long do I have to put on the mask? <sighs> when it comes to loving your country, you should at least show some basic respect. And granted, all these guys showed basic respect. Donald Trump picked that, picked that ball up and ran with it. He gave extra respect. He went out of his way to show people that he cared. That's what a good leader does. <sighs> the fact that we have to have this conversation, this debate, is already a massive problem. And it shows that people don't really understand what they want out of their own leaders, out of their own country. Granted, a lot of people are lost and a lot of people can't understand it. But when we are in a democracy, when so many people are now voting without the understanding of what they actually want is frightening. It is just deeply frightening to sit here and know that people are actively choosing guys like Barack Obama and Joe Biden because they think they're presidential. Joe Biden was such a bad father that his daughter has completely left him. Decency is on the ballot? And they don't understand this. The average person doesn't understand just how vile Joe Biden has become and has been through the majority of his life because he wears a completely different mask and the media allows it. Meanwhile, Donald Trump doesn't bother wearing a mask. He is authentic and true to himself. And despite the fact that he's done some very weird things and he's, been, he's on his fourth wife, that man is still somehow more presidential than the last two, than both Joe Biden and Barack Obama. That's why this decision is so easy for me uh, in this upcoming election. And it's why I firmly believe that Donald Trump does care about his country because he goes the extra mile to show that he does. That has not happened under the last couple of Democrat presidents. And I don't think it will ever come back because that party is just so rotten. Donald Trump cares. I firmly believe that, and I hope this clip convinces you of that. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed this segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one, and until then, y'all have a good one.